Hey guys, Rocco here. Selman Khan shooting things and not just movies. We're going to investigate, so come with me. Okay guys, so after two decades of Selman Khan originally being charged with the illegal poaching or shooting or killing of two black bucks, which are Indian antelopes, these were actually revered by a Hindu sect in the area, and apparently one of them heard gunshots, went up, and saw the te two dead bucks there. So, yeah, there was a couple other actors there. He was filming a movie at the time, but now he's just been convicted of five years, just got out on bail. I have managed to do my digging, and we're going to cross live now to India today, where we're going to go for the original Selman Khan exclusive interview that he did back in the day about all this black buck business. Roll the clip. I fear with so much stuff that was written about me. Kaisa, ye karta, jagle karta, marpi karta, batmizi karta, ye. I say, yeah, if if this is what they think of me, if this is batmizi, then I don't know what to do. So my fear was to put myself onto national television, and um, just that if uh, people didn't like me as a person. That was the fear. Do you think you're misunderstood? No, not really. <laughs> um, no. I know people, they got me right. people say that, but uh, you guys have I think got I'm me. Just been written badly about. They know off me. They don't know me. If they want to make a judgment on me, because um, I'm not available to them, or I don't talk very much to them, is their opinion. And everybody's media, entitled. About the media. Yeah, this section of uh, the like, media. She's talking about us. If I was uh, so bad and what they've written about me all throughout, then today I wouldn't have been. It's been 19 years of me in the film industry. I wouldn't have been here. He's picking his jeans. Do you feel nervous. happier with the media at the moment because uh, you seem to be clearing the air through it a little bit at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there is, you know that that one section of it that the da 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 da. Whenever something happens, you mm. start off with. You know, with the first in incident that happened, and then you take it through, go, okay, oh, yeah, accident, kia, yeah, hunting case, that case, this case, that case. But the music is called You don't even know what 1% of the truth is. Just because I cannot uh, say things, I will not say things. But you've chosen to be silent, no? A yeah. lot of the time. Why? Yeah, because. Good interview, right? Because I haven't spoken, s I mean, about anything or anybody yet. Yeah, I don't need to. And I will not. You have your own dignity, you have your own um, loyalties, your own priorities in you life. You sort of can see where he's coming from in this, can't you? You can see where, with the priorities, and you can see where he doesn't want to open up too much. I get that. But when you're accused of killing something illegally, well, yeah, or hitting or running over someone or abusing your ex-partner, you kind of need to address those things. You can't just go, eh, screw it, whatever people want to think about me, yeah, think about it. That's almost like saying if you want to say I'm a child molester, that's cool with me. See what I mean? It doesn't work. And I choose not to speak about these because when you're speaking about Hashtag somebody else, jail you, know, for Salmon. <laughs> you don't have the right to speak about anybody else. I can only say this is what I feel. Imagine when he watched this, he's like... somebody else, then I have no right to talk about that person. Do you believe in karma? Of course I believe in karma. And uh, what I do wrong happens, I have to pay for it the next day. Now I'm going to say something that might be a little bit rude, mm -hmm. but I Sorry. think you've been a victim of ignorance at some times. Like I genuinely don't believe that you would have shot it at the black buck if you'd known it was an endangered species. Mm. And do you think that's Ooh, true? Did you see that? He goes, hmm. You're on my Christmas card list now for saying that. I reckon she's buttering him up. I reckon she knows he shot the black bucks. Let's continue. Um. <clears throat> Mm. Facial tics, mm, thinking, thinking of the lie. There's a long story there. And, um. Ooh, uncomfortable! Or oh, cringe! Who shot the black buck. But you took the rap for it. No, no, it's. You didn't, Did. you didn't point fingers at anyone else, you didn't. That's just you. There's yeah. no point. What was your time in jail like? <clears throat> A lot of fun. Really? <laughs> <laughs> A 
okay. Stupid question gets that kind of answer. But you talk about like you, you had a lot of thinking time to put your life back on track. So let's go back and let's ask the question that the interviewer didn't ask in that situation. Why would you take the rap for this? What was your reasoning behind it, Salman? Why, why would you, if you didn't shoot the buck, why would you not point the finger at the other four that did? If, it's, if, if you're so against shooting endangered species or species in general, why didn't you dob in the guy? Why didn't you serve justice for the Indian people? That would have been my question. And he would have been doing that same shit again, go, hmm, uh, looking off camera and shit at his like, managers and assistants and advisors and what's that other one that they have? Agents? Yeah. Yeah. It's bullshit. That none of that. I was that. blank. I was chilly. My only tension was the bathroom. That was it. And um, there have been in about three or four times I've gone in and out, in and out, in and out. So, oh, it's... Um, I'm a criminal. Well, I mean, if, you, if, if somebody wants to put you in, and, uh, you go on quietly. When you know that you haven't done it, you go on with your head high. And did you share it? Yeah, you go with your head high for admitting to a crime that you didn't do, that someone else did, and you know that that person that committed the crime is still walking free. You go to jail with your head held high in that situation, do you? Nah. I did, like, share the space with a lot of people. Yeah, police custody here for the accident thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And they were like, this. Nine or twelve rooms. He took everybody the eight. Was, uh, Salman, he reckons. Had nine, 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 the ten, buck ten did. People in one, one room. In one bathroom. One toilet. So that was. And then uh, the rest of the place, when you go to um, central jail, when you go to uh, judicial custody, you get your own suite there. I wouldn't quite call it a suite, but if that's what you want to that's, call it. He wasn't joking the then when he said the jail was great. It was a great fucking time, you know, like he, you get your own suite. It's like Goodfellas. Have you seen when they go to jail and they're cooking lobster up? Guys, oh, these headphones are so boss that I can't even put them on like that. Guys, I don't know. That, what do you reckon about that interview, guys? Can you watch that with a straight face and, and think that he's telling the truth there? Because... I don't think so. There was a lot of sly smirks when, yeah, you know, I just, I took the rap, you know, <laughs> I didn't do it. It's like, yeah, you bullshit. Yeah, of course you did. I'm sort of glad now that it's caught up with him, like, in current, present times. That was 10 years ago. But I'm curious to see what my other correspondent in India has to say about it. And this guy's got his finger on the pulse of the nation, of the world, really. He, he tackles all worldly subjects. Anyway... I call him TIC, you guys know him as typical Indian comments. Let's have a look, see what he reckons. Hey, what's up guys, it's Sid, and let's just state the fucking obvious. We knew the fact that Salman is gonna get fucking bail and is already out. Every fucking YouTube channel and Facebook channel wants to talk about him getting bailed out right now. <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing channel. I don't know who the admin is, honestly, but you guys gotta check this out. Now, before I start anything, <laughs> I wanna grab my yes. baby beer here, and yeah. Whoa, who fucking puts hentai, the tentacle hentai? Okay, I'm gonna fucking search for... Uh, Salman Khan bail, and let's just see some comments. Salman is black. Nobody is above or below Indian jurisdiction. Jay Hint. Uh, finally, he is back. I can watch the race three when it is a release with the peace of mind. And then there is the special one, Haseem Wise. Uh, Congregation Lashan Salu Bhai. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? This is a very sadder news of the world of the today. Uh, he is running over Paple on the street sides where I eat my fruit salad and go to Mount Uri. <laughs> he is kill humans and deers. He is wrong. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I have told you before only, guys, that our Salubai is going to come out of the prisoner. Uh, I mean, prisoner. Sorry, Prisoners. folks. Finally, he is Prisoners. Bad. I was waiting for this day since like two days, like hell. Dear Rohi, what is your WhatsApp November? <laughs> um, why do you want it? 
I am sent the official news of Salu, bhai. Full original Pakka news. Bruh, I'm gonna get bailed, bruh. Hey, man, you're all getting us. We're making a fool of the mother of the child. I'll create a distraction for you, bruh. I have got an exam on Monday. Why the fuck am I doing this shit? <laughs> As you see, guys, we've got top notch reporters on the case here, and I think we've gotten to the bottom of the situation of it. It's basically the only reason Salman Khan isn't in jail like someone like me or you or you or me would be if we did the same thing. It's because he's got money. And obviously there's some corruption and shit going on in that system, so it needs to be sorted out too sweet. I heard that people were like letting off firecrackers like, Salman, yay, he's out and stuff. I liken that to like when you see on Cops when there's a lady that's been beaten up by her spouse or vice versa. And they try to arrest him and she's like, no, no, I love him. It's blind devotation, is that the word? The blind devotees. I don't think it's good sometimes. You gotta have some, you gotta draw a line somewhere. You know, like Tom Cruise makes good movies, but he's fucking nuts. I think the same thing here could be for Salman Khan. Guys, curious to see what you think about the whole situation. Should he have gotten bail or should he be in prison just like for five years, like we would be? Let me know down below, guys, and I'll see you for the next one. This fucking thing was gonna walk in front. He's licking the gun! <laughs>